So in GEMCAR, we really strive to make it simple for you to be able to put fast quotes together, be able to pull up information on customers and vehicles. I have an existing customer that's in my database that is coming in, and I can see through the, the windshield um, their license plate number. So I click on here, and I'm able to search by license plate number, stock number, phone number, any of the numbers associated with a customer. So I'm going to put in my vehicle. I can see the plate. It's going to display my customer, my vehicle, tell me that there's pending estimates. So if somebody has already done a quote, I could review that. In this example, I'm not going to. I'm just going to start a new quote. With our integrations, I just want to show you a few of our partners and how we're able to do that. If I right-click on my logo here for my point of sale, I can right-click on my vendors, and I can have all my different vendors here. In this example, I'd just like to show you uh, Advanced as an example. When I click on the site, we're going to basically, and you can see in the toolbar on the top here, we're logging in as this customer. We're pushing the, uh, the VIN and all the information, so you can copy and paste the VIN here. Decode the VIN. It does do it automatically. If you just left click on decode, you wouldn't have to you don't have to copy and paste it from the browser and it decodes for the vehicle. I'm going to use something common and simple like a brake job just because this I think would reflect well on what they have. So here I can say I have disk pad set and a set of rotors. When I click on find parts, they're going to display all the possible options that are available for the different vehicle, including images. As I select them, here I can see they have them in the store. So if I increase the quantity to two, I can add that I can add that to it. And then and I scroll down a little bit, I can actually select brake pads here. There's multiple different qualities, as you can see, including the pictures. So if I click on Add to the Cart, now that I have these items selected, when I click on View Cart, and the reason I suggest that you review the cart is because if somebody else had 50 items in here, we wouldn't want to transfer that back. When I click on the pen and paper, go back up to the top here, you can see our toolbar is running. I have I'm grabbing the part number, the description, the matrix price, the list cost, and if I had the, the items in stock, it would tell me how many I had on hand. When I click on Apply Matrix, it's going to update my pricing based on what I've loaded into my gem card that I want for pricing integrity, so everybody's quoting the same way. If I cared to order it, I could go ahead and continue shopping or checkout, or if I just needed to put a quote together, I have the parts added here um, automatically with the part number, the description, with the correct pricing. From there, if I had a labor component, I wanted to look and go ahead and look up the labor from there and transfer it back as well, we could do that. So that would be an integration with advanced auto parts.